Rock Eyes would like to welcome Margarita, Edge of Paradise. How you doing today, man? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Very good. Um, tell me a little bit about your background. I know you studied at NYU, which my daughter wants to go to now, too. So uh, give me a little background on yourself. Uh, well, when I was little, I was um, I basically started with classical piano. I was taking lessons since I was very young, like four. And then I grew up in Moscow. And then when we moved to Houston, I started getting in more into theater, but I was still playing classical piano. And then I went to performing arts high school, and I did musical theater, and I was still playing piano and did dance and all kinds of performing things. And then I really wanted to go to New York because I lived in Houston. And, um, yeah, and then I got into NYU, and I went to study theater there, but I also continued playing piano at NYU as well. I did a minor um, in music and major in theater. And then I moved to L.A., and uh, I was working with a producer. He just hired me to, to to do a song with him, and he also hired Dave as well. And that's how I met Dave, and Dave was looking for a singer because he had um, a band before with Robin McCauley, and that's how I met Dave and got into the band. Cool, cool. Now that single was <laughs> Mystified, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Uh, I, I listened to that this morning, so I, I did, some, <laughs> did some background check and stuff like that. Uh, was that actually the first song you ever recorded? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. that was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I never really thought um, of myself as like a singer for, especially rock singer. I mean, I came as close to singing as um, just doing musical theater. Right. <laughs> wow. And um, like with piano, one of your favorites, I, I guess, is Rachmaninoff. <laughs> yeah, I really like him. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I like to play everything with classical. I like Beethoven and Chopin and all all kinds of things. Wow. Now, uh, I guess uh, the big uh, CD that, that really came out was Mask in 2011. Um, can you tell me anything about that? Because I really haven't listened to it. Mm -hmm. Well, Mask, um, when Dave and I got together and started the band, we wanted to release something that we could build from. So Dave had a lot of music left over that he worked on with Robin, and they had Greg Bissonnette and Tony Franklin as the rhythm section. So <clears throat> some of the music was never released, and, uh, you know, it was a shame for it to, to go to waste. So we just took um, a lot of the material and just reworked it, and um, I worked some of the words and melodies, and, uh, you know, I just sang over it. So we, because we didn't want to uh, take, I don't know, we just wanted to release something right away to, um, you know, to call ourselves a band, and that's how Mass came together. And it has um, three instrumental tracks on it as well. Some of the criticism that we got from the CD was that we had three tracks. Um, that was just instrumentals, but um, I mean, it, it did a lot of. It opened a lot of doors for us, and um, reception was mostly good. But uh, I mean, the thing with Mask is that it wasn't really who we are as a band anymore because it's not, we we strive to create our own sound. And with Mask, we were just kind of finding it, you know. And right. I think with Perfect Bit of Black, we really, um, you know found what we want to want to sound like and created that good good now with michael wagner you're going to be the first uh you know band uh, in his uh, production of his workshop uh, uh this year so uh, how's that going it's really really exciting i can't wait because um i mean we when after mask we did a radio campaign and um we figured out that we really have to have our music on the same level as all the, you know, big bands. I mean, you know, we knew that, but uh, it's always thinking, you know, how do we make that happen? So we, I mean, Michael Wagner, you know, we grew up listening to his his work, so he's like a, you know, he's legendary, and he's such a awesome person. I mean, we, we emailed him, and he emailed us, and, you know, then this, he, the first song that he mixed was In a Dream. And, you know, if you compare In a Dream to, um, you know, Mask, it's just world difference. 
just by just by judging by the sound. So, um, you know, I started working with Michael and uh, all the other songs that came after In a Dream that you hear on the new CD. Um, you know, he mixed and mastered all of them. So, um, actually, when we did the East Coast tour, we stopped by um, at his studio. I did some backing vocals for his, for one of the artists who was working with Marija. Um, and his studio is just crazy, insanely <laughs> amazing. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's I, I still can't believe that we're going to go record there because it's... I mean, I don't know. He's just going to be so cool. And working with him, you know, because he's just such a legend. And, he, you know, we're going to learn so much. Wow. So I'm excited. Uh, you, also, mm-hmm. you also work with Bob Kulik? Yes. Bob, Dave and Bob um, have a history of working together, even, like, as far as 10 years ago, because Dave was in a band and Bob produced them. And Bob is a you know, great producer to work with as well, and he's in L.A. Michael is all the way in Nashville, so, um, I mean, Bob was a, he has a great studio in Los Angeles called Office Studios, and he worked with, um, yeah, Brett, he works with the engineer there, Brett Chasen, and, uh, um, yeah, they're, I mean, it's great to work with them as well. I mean, Bob, Bob's been around for, for a while, and he knows what he's doing, definitely, and, you know, he, he kind of guided us in the right direction, um, you know, when we record the song. So it, it was great as well. Good, good. Uh, now, mm-hmm. the name of the EP is Perfect Shade of Black. How did you come up with that name? Um, let's see. I don't do an, I think Dave, me and Dave were talking about, you know, what we were going to call it. And she, she just, I don't know, he just, he just, like, said it. And I was like, that's cool. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> I know the, the first song that we released as a single uh, was Breakaway. And the song is about, um, you know, how kind of greed is basically consuming the humankind and it's easy to give in to... Um, you know, give into it, and then it's really hard to, um, you know, break free and just make up your own mind and, you know, realize what, um, what you really want. And uh, it's such a gray area between, you know, right and wrong and good and evil, and uh, there's, like, all these different shades wow. of, you know, whatever you want to... Um, I mean, I could just talk about it all day, but, you know, Perfect Shade of Black is basically like, you know, what's perfect and black. Um, I mean, it's the absence of, of all colors, but also it's just, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just right. blackness. Right. Now there's three <laughs> tracks and one bonus track on the CP, right? Uh, no, there's... Four tracks, yeah, and a bonus track, so five total. Right. Mm-hmm. And actually, my, my favorite song is Ghost. Really? I, I love I'm that song. That. <laughs> I love that song as well. <laughs> you know? Ghost, yeah. Uh-huh. I definitely, was, uh, I listened to it over and over today. Um, you know, I, I really enjoyed that track. Uh, that's my favorite. Thank you. You know. Now, uh, Crash Crash Burn uh, is the bonus track, right? Yes, and Crash Crash Burn was actually on Mask, but it was a different version. We just totally changed it because um, it goes over really well live. It's one of the really faster tracks, and we thought, you know, in Perfect Shade of Black, uh, we have a couple of mid-tempo tunes, and then we have um, two ballads. So we we wanted to just, um, you know, give give a really heavy metal tune to, you know, people that have been supporting us from Mask, and, you know, it's just kind of a thing that, that might be interesting for them to listen to, because they've heard it before already, but it's it's a different version of the song. Great. Now, you have a, um, a limited edition uh, EP, uh, which is Perfect Shade of Black, uh, and you're only going to limit it to 200 signed copies, and they could get that on your website, or are they sold out, or can they still get them? Um, there's still a few copies left, uh, but we, in the new year, we're going to be doing a release of the full length uh-huh. as well, but there's, there's two copies left. Yeah, it's, it's still on our website, edgeparadiseband.com, and, um, yeah, it's, it's just a signed copy of the EP, the five-song EP. 
and he comes with a sticker. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah. Cool, cool. When is uh, full length uh, expected? We're um, end of February. Right. Um, do you have any uh, anything else in the works uh, as you plan ahead? Yes, we. Well, our goal for this year is to tour as much as we can. You know, after releasing the full length, and we we were invited to a festival in Europe in Croatia in in the summer. So we're gonna try to put together some more European dates and just you know tour as much as we can, <laughs> and uh, hopefully also film a music video. Cool. Because we haven't done one since Mask. Yes. Wow. So what is life really like on the road? It's it's actually a lot of fun. We're really lucky because we all get along really well. And we went through a lot of band members since Dave and I started the band. So we got really lucky with, uh, you know, John and Nick. They're just great people and they're very dedicated. And we just have a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's very stressful sometimes because, especially in the U.S., everything is so spread out and driving from one point to another one is it's so time-consuming. I mean, of course, you know. It depends on how you uh, plan out the shows. But when we did the East Coast, um, we had to drive from one state to the next state. We had shows every single day. So it was just driving, playing shows, driving, playing shows, and we hit a dead deer on the road and then busted out of the radiator. And then we had, like, two interviews the next day. So thank God um, Nick, our bass player, he's a pretty handy guy. <laughs> so him and Dave's brother, because Dave's brother is out in Connecticut, they really helped us. You know, they they got our van back um, back in shape. While well, Dave and um, I and John, we went to do the radio interviews, and then we got back in the van, and then we had a few other shows. So I mean, it all worked out. Good, good. We did everything we set out to do, so <laughs> that was good. Great. So, did you get any special uh, Christmas gifts? Special Christmas gifts. I got a lot of. Um, it's it's always great getting. I don't know any gift. <laughs> I appreciate right. any gift. Wow. I don't know. I got I got really strange, um, but really cool Asian toy that just keeps moving, and I can't figure out why it keeps moving because it doesn't have any batteries. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow. Um, do, do you have any goals in this coming year? We have a lot of go goals. Yes, um, we always strive for um, you know as high and as far up the ladder um, you know as we can get. So. Uh, goals. I mean, to release the CD and um, you know, get it out to as many people as we can, and just play as much as we can. And because we haven't really um, done a lot of touring this past year, we've done um, you know, we've done West Coast and East Coast, but not like months at a time. So hopefully, we can just stay out on the road and just you know, play, play, and play. Cool. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. on Edge of Paradise, and. Um, this is a great song and you know you know i guess just enjoy life and uh you know congratulations you. you know would thank you, you would you like to say anything to the fans out there to you yeah you know we just really appreciate um you know everybody supporting us and uh keep posted for the new songs and we have a i'm really excited um to release the song that we're about to record at michael wagner's workshop and also there's still if if uh, you're an engineer and you want to be a part of the workshop or you just want to take part in the workshop, there's still time to sign up. And you can um, do so at Michael Wagner's website, which is michaelwagner.com. And, uh, you know, we're always really happy meeting new people and new fans, and we're just happy to be doing what we're doing. Cool. So cool. thank you. Great. Mm -hmm. Everybody pick it up. Perfect shades of black. Thanks very much, Margarita. Thank you, Brian. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.